to hit you, brother. Good. Alright, we're going to do a control check. Just make sure you're clear. So the center stick is the cyclic, and that controls our pitch and roll. You got your rudder pedals. These are called anti-torque pedals. Left and right. The collector is on the left. Makes us go up and down, and we've got a motorcycle grip here for throttle control of the engine. Okay. So I'll be manipulating everything here to uh, get us going. Okay. So what I'm going to do is do start the engine up. Please go tower in November 611 Fox Tango, we are leaving the frequency. Thank for your help. Yeah, it's on. Sir. It's on. Yeah. Fox Tango, I'll we'll do that pre-change proof. Alrighty. Clear! Alrighty. She's alive. We have a clutch that we feather in that engages the rotor system. Okay. And the clutch is fully engaged. Altimeter 3018. Expect a GPS approach, runway 9 is in use. The traffic pattern now is 1000. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of the airfield. Read back all holds for instructions and runway assignments. Advise others contact that you have information vector. Space Coast Tower Information Vector, time 1455 Zulu, wind 060 at 3, visibility 7, sky conditions scattered 1300, temperature 302.22, altimeter 3018, expect a GPS approach, runway 9 is in use, the traffic pattern now is 1000, use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of the airfield, reback all holds for instructions and runway. All right, all right. Okay, so we do a systems check. I got two fuel pumps since this is a fuel injected system, so I turn each one off sequentially and then back on to make sure the engine still runs. Okay. Two ignition packs. Everything's redundant in this system, making sure that it still runs. Then we have FADAC computers, just like in a jet airliner, so it controls oh, wow. everything in there. We turn one off, make sure it still runs. That's on the secondary. Turn the primary back on, reset the second one. We're back to the first. Two green lights for our FADAC computers, that means they're running. Caution would be we had uh, some kind of error, and then red would mean we'd have one failed for the uh, onside side. So that's our system check in this thing, pretty easy to do. Uh, so then next we're going to do is run up the engine. This is rotor RPM and engine RPM. The engine drives a rotor, so that's your limiting factor in a helicopter. How much torque can your engine produce to keep your rotor going? And that's okay. what limits your max gross weight. That's why it's weight here is so important. So we'll be light enough now with three-quarter tanks that uh, no, no issues. We'll have even a little bit of a power reserve. But what we do is we spin up the engine to 100%. Engine and a rotor RPM is the uh, biggest thing because that's that what's given us lift, like our wing. Yeah. So we keep it in the green range, about 100%. That's the low rotor RPM warning. And then what we do here is we have what's called a sprag clutch that disengages the engine. If we lose the engine, we go in what's called an auto rotation. The engine comes off and the rotor slowly decays. So what uh -huh. we can do is we can lower the collective, the left lever, and that allows us to glide down to a safe landing. We use okay. that stored up energy. We flare, we cushion, we walk away, the helicopter flies another day and we're good. So we can put it down anywhere, any open field. Yeah. So if that ever happens while we're flying, all I'm going to say is just brace, 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 cross your arms across your chest, yeah. put your chin down, it'll be over in like 10 seconds, we'll be on the ground. All right. So there's something I always brief the guys when I'm flying with them. We can go down pretty much anywhere. we got so many options in a helicopter versus uh, fixed wing. Okay. All right, so serious stuff is over with, Then we've got Victor as the ATIS. We just came from the tower, so we'll pick it up. And uh, we'll probably just take off straight to the north on the Alpha Taxiway there. All right. Yeah, 
<laughs> All right, we do a hover power check. Everything's good, 100%. Instruments are in the green. We're going to slide to the left. We're clear on the left. Look to the right, make sure the tail rotor is clear. Tail clear right. Space Coast Tower, helicopter 8006 Alpha is at the East T hangars with Victor. Looking for a VFR departure northbound. Yeah, helicopter 8006 Alpha Space Coast Tower, the winds are uh, 080 at 5. Watch your uh, own risk, northbound. Okay, northbound departure approved at our own risk, helicopter 8006 Alpha. We'll take uh, Alpha Taxiway. Roger that, loose heading out again for some picks. Awesome. down and here we go. We just tilt the nose down, we get airspeed, we get effective translational lift. Where helicopter rotor blades are operating in smooth air. Okay. That gives us like a little boost of power to 35 knots or 35 miles an hour indicated, 40 accelerating. And they're taking pictures of this on the left side there. We'll do just go up US-1 a little bit, sure. come back. This is the Warburg Museum, I don't know if you've ever been down there. Yeah. But uh, me and Al have been in there trying to help out. They got all kinds of old uh, aircraft in there. Okay. They got F-14s, F-16, F-18. They got uh, UH-1 Huey, they got a Bell 47 from MASH that uh, I'm actually helping them volunteer. They're gonna get that back flying. Wow. And I'll uh, help them fly it. So that'll be fun. So it's pretty cool flying the doors off. You get a little bit of airflow up here, get everything trimmed out. Very cool. Besides the thermals knocking us around, she's uh, she's very good flying ship now. So you got to manually kind of manipulate the throttle a little bit in this aircraft. Uh -huh. So you'll notice me just kind of paying attention here, monitoring. Manifold pressure is an indication of torque, how much we're pulling. Okay. You know, you get about 30, 31 is the max this engine will produce, and then you just don't have any more. And we cruise about 70, 80 miles an hour, not fast. We can go up to 110, but that's really pulling the guts out of it. Uh -huh. And then across there you got the vehicle assembly building where all the launch pads are. You're familiar, you've been here oh, yeah. long. Yep. out this way? Yeah, uh, I live out just to the left here. Uh, there's a big open field. That's a uh, school, middle school. That's my school that my uh -huh. son goes to, his middle yeah. school. And there's another golf course called Royal Oak. Al lives right next door. He's my next door neighbor now. Oh, okay. I've been friends with Al for almost six years. We got new hire class together. He was an instructor and I was a line pilot for the 190. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, my neighbor, she had passed away. She was an older lady and the family had sitting, the house sitting vacant for like two years. Oh, wow. And uh, Al asked me about it, and I said, yeah, I'll. I still had the information for the family. I connected them, and uh, they made a deal. They bought the house. Oh, uh, how cool. Yeah, so it's a you know, next-door neighbor now. But, yeah, it's uh, it's an older home. It was built in 65. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, it's, you got it fixed up. I've been working on it. Do you ever 
thought about instructing in the schoolhouse? Uh, yes, I am very interested. I actually just emailed Mike Fine and I told him uh, I'd be interested in doing adjunct jobs. Oh, good, yeah. Uh, for the 190. Yeah, those are good gigs, the adjunct. And uh, so he's got the, he's got my name in the hat now. He's I've uh, I've known Mike for a few years. We've flown together a trip, and yeah, so I see him every once in a while. Good guy. I like yeah, Mike. yeah, he is a nice guy. There's really nobody at the schoolhouse. I, I, there's nobody there I don't like. I love going to the schoolhouse. It's great. Yeah. Learn a lot. Yep. Helicopter 8006 Alpha B frequency change. We'll talk to you guys soon. 8006 Alpha B change for Roger. Arthur Dunn Traffic Helicopter 8006 Alpha. It's a roadway helicopter. We're about three miles to the southeast going northbound US 1. Arthur Dunn. Arthur Dunn used to uh, uh, used to have uh, skydiving. They still do. They do? Okay. We just saw some parachuters today. We were flying up here. And yeah, I used to instruct Sanford years ago. Oh, was it Delta Connection, or yeah. was it called something else back well, then? Well, Com Air Aviation again. Com Air Aviation, yeah. I flew oh, for Com Air before coming here. I want to go out. Traffic in here, taking one five. We got jumpers about eight minutes and fifteen thousand feet below. I kind of want to go out to fly a landing now, so we'll do that. All we got to do is just talk uh, common traffic advisor frequency on NASA Tower, that's all. Uh-huh. So we'll just go over the bridge and we'll head out there and head back. Sure. Arthur Dunn Traffic Helicopter 8006 Alpha, we're going to be turning right eastbound towards Playa Linda over the Maxwell Brewer Bridge. Arthur Dunn Traffic. Me, I'm always thinking when you're flying, you know, where am I going to go? So that's I'm why I'm always, down. always yeah. talking about I don't like to go over any open water without a place to put it down. Yeah. So I'm always crossing at a bridge or some kind of island that I know I can get to. NASA Shuttle Landing Facility Traffic, Helicopter 8006 Alpha is over the Maxwell Brewer Bridge, flying eastbound to Playa Linda, NASA Shuttle Landing Facility. Boats in there, it's a busy place. Yeah. All these little uh, islands and stuff to go to. Do you have a boat? Yeah, kayaks. Cool. Yeah, yeah I got a kayak sitting in my damn uh, garage for years, so I pulled that thing out recently. Yeah. Well, once you get a new toy like this, Encompassing. Yeah. I tell you what, man, this is the best experience, man. Helicopters, Al keeps telling me, ah, just, just go get yourself a certified one or just go buy an airplane, you know? I'm like, man, this is great. Low and slow, you get to see yeah. everything. This is awesome. This is beautiful. Nice thermals over here as we get over all these little pockets. Yeah. The water and the land. Yeah. Visit out uh, high 
90 today. Good look and then uh, head back to the airport. Okay. That's beautiful there. Best Shuttle Atlantic traffic, helicopter 8006 South is turning back towards the west towards uh, Titusville, uh, NASA Shuttle Atlantic facility traffic. So I remember before September 11th, you could do a low approach there and. Uh, yeah, I remember yeah. doing that. I used to yeah. do that a lot when I was at FIT, went to FIT there. Oh, you did, FIT, yeah. yeah. And then uh, when I was flying, in the, I was in the Florida Guard here, so I was flying Blackhawks, and we used to do that too afterwards, we were able to go. Now you can do it again, they don't care, but uh -huh. there was a time they wouldn't let you do it. Traffic helicopter 8006 South is uh, over the river just east of Arthur Dunn. We turn it southbound US 1 for Space Coast Regional Arthur Dunn. All used to be crystal clear. The whole St. John or the uh, Indian River here, yeah, Banana River over there by Merritt Island, yeah. It just got all murky as the uh, area built up. Sewage yeah. leaks and who knows, God, what else is in there? Yeah. yeah. Bring my kayak up here fishing sometimes. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much I paid for this. Uh, experimental category is a $55,000 helicopter. Wow. Yeah, really not that much money. Yeah. It's like a brand new truck or maybe yeah. even a used really nice truck. Sure. So uh, that's what makes it affordable. Experimental category, yeah. you know, anything certified, it would be well over 100000 Uh huh. You know, you start talking about Robinson helicopters, $200,000, $250,000 helicopter. Yeah. So uh, way outside of my budget. But this thing, yeah, very affordable. All right, up on the tower frequency for Space Coast Regional. Space 
Coast Coast Tower. Helicopter 8006 South, we're about six and a half to the north uh, over US 1, full stop landing. And have a couple days, 006 Alpha Base Coast Tower. We're just uh, playing your straight in approach taxiway Alpha, and now you can land on the Alpha Charlie taxiway. Straight in Alpha Charlie intersection, clear to land, helicopter 8006 South. Thanks. That is still high school. Yeah, my son just finishing up eighth grade at the end of the week, so he'll be going here. This will be his high school. Oh, okay. But he enjoys going up, huh? Yeah, he's been up a few times. Like I said, I've just had it since January. Yeah. My wife is very, uh, leery of the whole thing, but uh, yeah. I'm like, me, I'm like over abundantly cautioned about flying this thing, you know, maintenance and everything like that. Like I said, uh -huh. I, uh, did a big, huge maintenance inspection. There you go, flash for you. Tower, helicopter 8006 Alpha. What are you showing my altitude as right now? I'm showing 1,000 indicated. What are you showing on your side? Yeah, I'm showing you a 900 feet, sir. Okay, pretty damn close. Thanks. miles an hour, we're going over the ground, 55 knots, Woo. All right. but we, yeah, we're not pulling too much right now either, we're just cruising along. I used to have an old uh, Aranka that flew about this fast, it was, <laughs> it was fun. It's all about the trip, it's all about yeah. the journey, you don't need to get there fast. That's right. And uh, that's what I tell guys, I mean, yeah, there's fast airplanes, there's slow airplanes that are backcountry airplanes. And then obviously helicopters, that's a whole nother world, but uh, this really depends on the mission that you want to fly, what you want to do with it. So we're just going to make our approach to the left side of the runway on the same taxiway we took off. Okay. Winds are nice and calm, so... Beautiful day for flying. Yeah, it is. And as we reduce the power, you'll feel that wind coming in from below us now as we start our descent. Okay. And then I'll be making some power changes, so you'll feel the helicopter with y'all left and right. The engine sound will change, but that's all perfectly normal, just like in an airplane. Yeah.
ground effect out of it. Oh yeah, you get the same ground effect as you do on a wing, yeah. about uh, the diameter of the rotor system, and then as you get in the ground effect, you, know, you add your power once you start hovering. Uh-huh. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a dance sometimes. Power management, pedals, all that stuff, keeping it trimmed in there. Yeah. And, but the biggest thing is keeping your rotor in the green there. You know, that R on the left in the green. Yeah. Rotor is light. Let's see if he picks this thing up here. This is the hardest thing you do in a helicopter, trying to land on one of these things. I can imagine. Alrighty, I'll fix it up just a little bit. Like I said, it's, it ain't easy. Oh, of course the whole fucking cart's moving. <laughs> Great. Get a little overspeed as it reduce the collective there. Good. Yeah, it looks it, it's a little cock off, but it's good. It's like even. Okay, and on the right side's good. Okay, just making sure. And the first time it was like it was a little close over here. That's why I brought it back up, and then we started rolling. I was like, I get off this thing. Smooth, man. We went out about halfway towards Playa Linda, and we turned around, and came back. I didn't want to go too far away from home, you know. Want to make sure. <laughs> 